Hi, I'm Paul Friedman, founder of the Marriage Foundation, and this topic is a really interesting topic. I've been doing this for over 20 years, so when we have a good topic like this, I, I really get into it. The Marriage Foundation is very different from other organizations. We are all about helping marriages without imposing guilt, without feeling bad, without rehashing old stuff. So what do you do when your husband expects too much from you? Well, here's the thing. You got married with an outward expression of love, devotion, honey, I'll be there for you. I love you. I'll give you everything. I want to make you so happy. And now you're going, wait a minute. And I'll tell you what's wrong. I'll tell you what's actually happening. You see, we're souls. We marry our soulmates. That's how it's supposed to be. But what happens is our minds get in the way. We are souls, and so we are love. It comes natural to us. And when we're with our soulmate, we want that happiness that comes from the merging of two souls in this harmonious, entity we call marriage. But what happens is the mind gets in the way. Why does the mind get in the way? What, is, what am I talking about? Well, you see, and we don't learn these things, so it's no one's fault you didn't know this. But you see, you are a soul, you have a body, and you have a mind. Now, the body is a biological entity. And as we all know, it's scientific, we learned this in school, that what is in there, the every living thing is imbued with the drive to survive. Self-preservation is where it's at for all living things. The soul is living, of course, you're living, but on a much higher plane. So on this plane in existence, where biology is such a big deal, the body is constantly pinging the mind, hey, you're being taken advantage of. Hey, this is dangerous. Hey, create a boundary. This isn't fair. Things like that. That's not love, is it? The whole idea of marriage is to learn to love unconditionally, to feel the joy, the happiness of communing on that highest level of love. But we are brought down by the body's influence on the mind. And that's where all the problems are taking place. It's not so much that your husband's expectations are too great. If that was the case, who's deciding that? Well, the mind is, isn't it? Why would the mind decide that this level of expectation is too high, where this level of expectation is just enough? No, what's going to happen is your desire for freedom from expectations is going to get lower and lower and lower until pretty soon your husband can't even breathe without your going, why do you impose upon me so much? This is what happens. And so the trick here is to learn to love your husband, not take his expectations so personally. He has a right to his expectations. And instead you focus on the love. Just because, let's say, for instance, he says to you, you know, I'd like you to make my meals a little bit earlier. Or, I'd like you to make the bed a little bit differently. Or, I would like you to use less soap when you shower. Something really dumb. Why should that bother you? You can just go, okay, I hear you. And you do the best you can, but you don't worry about it. And you don't make excuses. You don't go, honey, I'm doing the best I can. Don't do that. It creates a different dynamic in your marriage. Instead, be loving. Come from the heart. Say, oh, honey, I didn't realize that you would prefer this. 
I'm more than happy to do my best because I love you. Oh, that will be music to his ears. And if it's music to his ears and you're constantly feeding into your sacred space of marriage more and more love, your whole marriage is going to improve, isn't it? And what do you want out of your marriage? Let's talk about your expectations. Don't you expect happiness? Don't you expect love? You're in control over all of that, all of it. Now, if you're subscribing to this channel, you already know so much about this, but if not, you should subscribe and you should also look into my books. You should look into the articles. You should look into the course for women if you marriage is really in trouble, but it doesn't sound like it is with this. You should expect your marriage to deliver the most happiness you've ever experienced in your life every single day, getting better and better. That's where your expectation should be. You shouldn't settle for less. And you can make that happen. Believe me, you can. So I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. We're here to help you at the Marriage Foundation. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Leave a comment, leave a like, ask a question there. We're here for you. God bless you. Thank you for spending time with me and I hope to see you again. Take care.